Welcome back into the den. It's Thursday, five days until Halloween, and I'm excited and honored as a schnerd, shave nerd, and fanboy of PAA for today's mail call. This will be an introduction, an unboxing, and first impressions of the latest and perhaps the greatest, we'll find out, brush in the current Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements brush line. Now I'm hoping I'm using my chopper from uh, Hendrix Classics and Co. box opener. Now I'm hoping that most of you have seen my two videos that I've done regarding PAA brushes. The last one was the Astraeus. I have a total of 12 brushes from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. There's 10 in the line, but there's two of them that I have duplicates of, and that's the Atomic. If you've seen that video, the Atomic Rocket, if you've seen that video, you know um, why and right, why not. So I have 12 brushes from PAA. I've paid for all 12. This is the first one I have not paid for. This was sent to me as a gift for review from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. And like, honestly, as a schnerd, as a fanboy, I couldn't be more honored. Douglas knew as well as anybody, as well as I know myself, that I would have bought this and I would have done this video. So it's a great tip of the cap. Thank you, Douglas. I tip my cap back to you for sending this to me for review. Ah, I love the box. If you have the Crimson Ghost or if you've seen the sales page of the Crimson Ghost, um, that will look familiar to you. We'll talk about this a little bit as I get going. I'll put some photos up to the left or the right here. This is a 24 millimeter perihelion. These are the same fibers that is found in the doppelganger, not doppelganger, the Doppler. This is the Doppler. It is a 26 millimeter perihelion fiber. Okay, this one retails for $19.95. The loft on it is 55 millimeters. And the overall height is five inches and 127 millimeters. This one is slightly smaller. We're gonna have a 24 millimeter knot. The loft is, is 56 millimeters. <laughs> Badass. Looks even cooler than it does um, in photos, of course. So this is the glow in the dark part. And then this is a, would you know be like the clear lucite. This is a throwback to the ever ready lucite brushes. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get scattered all over the place. The total height on this guy is four and five eighths of an inch. So that's 117 millimeters. So it's just a little shorter, only by 10 millimeters than the Doppler. The knot is two millimeters bigger. And then the loft is one millimeter more. So 56 on the loft, 24 on the knot, 26 and 55. It's got that new brush smell. Not like a badger brush. It ain't no stanky danky. It just smells clean. Badass. So the psych, this is called the Cyclotrode X. There is a movie. The movie is also known as the Crimson Ghost, which is where this razor got its name and this brush gets its name. They both get their name from the same movie. The Cyclo Cyclotrode X. Um, I'm going to scoop clown fruit from PAA into my bowl and we're going to whip that up. Let me set this in water over here to absorb for a second. Get the bristles wet for me. What was I saying? I was talking about the movie, right? So Cyclotrode X came out in 1946. And it's known as a cereal, which just means that not like the breakfast food, but, um, it came out in chapters, and there's a total of 12 chapters. In the very first episode, you're introduced to what the Cyclotrode X is and the Crimson Ghost. The Crimson Ghost is the bad guy. Um, bent on world domination. And uh, this, what the Cyclotrode X is, is it's a device that will detect and repel any atomic uh, weapon, any atomic bomb. And then... 
this is all in the first chapter, so I'm not giving you any real spoilers here. I do recommend watching it. It is You can watch several different versions of it, um, including color and black and white. I recommend the black and white um, on YouTube for free. I'll try and remember to put a uh, link links to the one that I recommend and the one that I'll put in there is the one that actually has it broken down into chapters for you. It's pretty good. I think that's going to be more than enough. I'm going to smush it around just a little bit more. And then so what the Crimson Ghost, he didn't make the cyclotrode, this uh, Professor Chambers, Dr. Chambers, I think Professor Chambers, um, developed it. And he was going to give it over to the government to protect the good old U.S. of A. Well, the Crimson Ghost wants it because he wants to use it uh, basically as an EMP. Um, it will shut down any and all electrical devices. So basically there's your plot. Um, and he is um, wearing a mask. Like in, in the, the movie, he's, he's a man wearing a mask. And he even has... Um, a voice amplifier, a voice changing thing. Um, he still sounds like a regular guy, but you know, it's good. It really is. Um, if you're into, you know, cheesy, I'm just trying to rinse out anything that might be in it from in the box. Uh, if you're into, you know, to the cheesy B old school horror kind of stuff, it's amazing. I love it. I'm a huge horror fan, huge sci-fi fan. Which is just one of the many reasons that, you know, just, or is just one more reason to love PAA because they are always doing some type of homage or, you know, like throwback, just squeezing out a little bit more water, uh, to sci-fi of yesterday. My Rodak bolt. My Cyclotrode X. So now you know what the Cyclotrode X is and the Crimson Ghost. So Douglas has the... Um, Two soaps that I'm aware of that glow in the dark. <sighs> Clown fruit's amazing. And that is Clown Fruit, which I'm using, and Monstroso. Clown Fruit is currently available. Monstroso has not come back yet this year. They are both fall seasonals. And they if they do drop, they they come back around Halloween. We almost didn't get Monstroso last year, and because of demand, Doug brought it back. I have not asked Douglas, so I do not know. Um, I'm in love with this brush already, you guys. Like I knew I'd be, there's no doubt. I, I love the previous 10. This is the 11th brush um, in the series. I don't think Douglas has ever given this brush series a name, but I've been thinking about it, and what I've been calling it in my mind, just the first time I'm gonna say it out loud, is I'm calling this these 11 brushes the Atomic series. If you saw my previous video, you know that, or if you've been following PAA for any amount of time at all, you know that um, I did five or six brushes previous to this that were basically uh, Poisson types, and they had um, wooden handles. And then he did away with those. Those all had the Crown King name on them. He did away with those and then came out with the Atomic Rocket. So I'm calling the series of 11 brushes the Atomic series. I don't know if that'll stick even in my own mind, but yeah, for what it's worth, let's put a little squirt of water in there. Oh, I didn't bring in my bougie, so I'm having to rough it here with my water bottle. For me, a 24 millimeter is a nice happy medium. It, it really, really is. Looking at my notes to make sure I've said everything I wanted to talk about. Yes. One thing I didn't mention is the retail on this, and it doesn't surprise me one bit that the price went up because of inflation. If I think, so I have three atomic rockets and that was the first brush in the atomic series. I believe I paid like 15 or 17 or $18 for it. I know it wasn't 1995, which is what all these brushes have been for a few years now, including the Doppler is still 1995. And I don't know how Doug continues to be able to afford to do it. And like, again, it's not a conversation I've had with Doug, but don't expect them to stay that price forever. Um, don't expect anything to stay the price that they are, right? With the current market and the way things are. And I'm sorry to tell you, you guys, but, you know, I'm no economist. I'm just a transit operator. But inflation isn't going away anytime soon. It's here for another five to ten years. Right? So I don't mean to make a mess of your Cheerios there, but 
1995 is a steel. Look at this beautiful lather. This is a wonderful brush already. I cannot wait to use it. Uh, I'll use this a handful of times and then do a little bit more of a review on it. Oh, it's amazing. Just for fun, let's put the soap in my hands here. These are the old Lucite nylon. So this is like what uh, our grandpas were actually using. And man, fibers have really come a long way. Doug in his sales page talks about like fishing line, which is basically what this is. It's a little bit different of a gauge and you know the way it's cut. But uh, I do like using them. Like I don't prefer to use one, but I'm into the nostalgia, you know, Tobin throwbacks, right? So every now and then I will use a nylon brush, but this is just so soft and the the perihelion you get just this perfect backbone it's it's nice i i when it comes to synthetic brushes if anybody asks me you know which brush they should buy i would point them first to one of these now 11 brushes from paa or um of course you know a lot of people's go-to would be the trawl fogger but 1995 for you know, 10 of these brushes are only 1995 and then now this one is 24.95 and I think at $24.95, it is a steal. What do you guys say we, uh... Welcome back to the den. It's Friday morning. After the snap last night, a few hours later, I did my shave. I really, so I've now shaved with this. I really like the grip in the hand. The fibers are exactly what you would expect from the perihelion if you've used the Doppler like I have. Just a smaller knot. I do like the way, it's like I have to turn the lights back on to show you. Um, it has a slightly different feel to it because of the way that it's set into the handle. Here's the bottom. I like how you can see the glow through the clear. But the way up here at the top, the way up here at the top, the way that it is set into the handle, I really, it, it gives it a slightly different feel to it. I don't know how to explain it. Um, because a lot of times, <clears throat> like the brush, like this Doppler, the fibers go all the way to the very, um edge here of the brush but this here it's it's more it's it's recessed see how you have all this material here and you don't have that material here it provides a different shaving experience and i don't know how to articulate it just yet but it is it's different The display is exactly the same. If anything, the display on the 24 millimeter is bigger. Thank you, Doug Fran and Hux. Thanks for joining me. PAA rocks for a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons they make shaving fun. The glow in the dark will always be fun. I don't care how old I get. Glow in the dark is just freaking cool. Take care. Thanks again.